Good morning, children. We are discussing the lesson Asia, Climate, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife, lesson number 7. Today is day 2 and we are going to discuss page number 76, that is the distribution of rainfall. The objective of the lesson is climate of Asia, factors affecting the climate of Asia, rainfall and Asia climate type. Children, we have already discussed the factors affecting the climate of a place. Today we are going to discuss about the rainfall. Before we start, let's ask some cross questions related to previous part. My first question is what is weather? Second question, what is climate? Number three, name the factors affecting the climate of a place. Number four, how latitudes affect the climate of a place. Number five, name three important latitudes passing from Asia. Number six, why Indonesia is hotter and Mongolia is cooler. Number seven, why the interior parts of Asia experiences extreme temperatures while the coastal regions experiences moderate temperature. Number eight, how Himalayas play an important role as a climate barrier. Number nine, name the winds which change their direction according to the season and which part of Asia do they affect most. Number 10, name two types of ocean currents. And number 11, name the currents which affects Japan a lot. Children, try to find out the answer of these questions and revise the questions. Now today we are going to start with our today's topic that is the rainfall. The rainfall of Asia varies from place to place. The areas near to the equator receives heavy rainfall. The areas of South China, Eastern Asia, Southeast Asia and India receives moderate rainfall. And lo the low rainfall receiving areas are Southwest Asia, Central Asia, Siberian Plateau and Central Highlands. Now you can see in this map what is given over here that the heaviest rainfall, the areas which receives heavy rainfall are the parts of South East Asia, mainly the countries of Java, Sumatra, Borneo. These all are the areas which receives Indonesia, Philippines, these areas receives maximum amount of rainfall and the rainfall is up to 200 centimeters. The areas which receives moderate rainfall are central and southern China, central China and southern China. And then we have got the islands of Philippines which is over here. Then we have Japan which is over here. And parts of Asia, the parts of Asia, parts of India, these areas receive moderate rainfall. The low rainfall is received by Central Asia, Western Asia and the Siberian Asia. These, Asia, these parts receive less rainfall. Now you can understand this by seeing this map also. You can see in this map that the parts which are in the near to the equatorial region and the parts of India, China, which is colored with dark green. These are the areas and over here western part of India receives more than 200 centimeters of rain. Now the next is like we have the South and Central China, South and Central China, India, Japan and the Northern China, Korea. These areas receive rainfall from 100 to 200 centimeters. Now the next is the parts like the western part of Asia, this part, 
the central part of Asia and the Siberian Asia. These parts receive very less rainfall. Now let's do the reading of the same. Distribution of rainfall. The amount of annual rainfall in Asia varies from place to place and time to time. Mostly the heavy rainfall areas are in the equatorial region, the coastal areas of Southeast Asia and Southern Himalayas. Already I have shown you in the map. These areas receive more than 200 centimeter of annual rainfall. Now we are coming up to the next region which receives 100 to 200 centimeters of rainfall. These areas are central and southern China. These are the areas. Then there we have the islands of Philippines which receives less rainfall. Japan is an island which receives less rainfall. Means less means it is 100 to 200. May not more than 200. And India, the parts of India, you can see the parts of India like they receive less or moderating rainfall. The areas that receive moderate rainfall are central and southern China, the Philippines and Japan, parts of India and the Southeast Asia. These regions receive 100 to 200 centimeters of rainfall per year. Now we, you can see this is a specific special phenomena about Indian subcontinent that they receive maximum rainfall in the summer season, the entire subcontinent region. The reason being that the southwest monsoons, which rises from here, they enter India from the western part of India and give heavy rainfall to entire Indian subcontinent as well as to their cross little bit and go towards the China also. So this part is entirely being affected by the monsoon winds. The speciality of the monsoon winds is this, that they change their direction according to season. Like in the summer season, they blow from sea to land. And during the winter season, they blow from land to C. So this is the speciality of the southwest monsoons. Now we are going to talk about those areas of Asia which is receives very less or they are dry. The areas are Central Asia as you can see in the map the part of Central Asia the plateau, the Western Asia and the Siberian Asia. These are the parts which receives less than 50 centimeters of rainfall. Now let's read it. The low rainfall receiving areas lie in the southwest and central Asia, Siberia and the plateaus of central highlands. These areas receive less than 50 centimeters of rainfall per year. So children, we can see this is the map of Asia showing the rainfall distribution. The parts in the southeastern part of Asia, which is colored with dark blue color, gets rainfall in summers and throughout the year through the and gets heavy rainfall up to 200 centimeters. If we are moving towards the Indian subcontinent, this part gets rainfall from the southwest monsoons, which the winds which blows from sea to land to and in summers and brings heavy rainfall in the subcontinent part. If we are moving towards north side, these areas get 
less rainfall but from 100 to 200. Now if we are talking about the western part of Asia, the western part of Asia receives rainfall in winters like Saudi Arabia and in India also we get rainfall in winters from western disturbances in the western parts. The part of Siberia which receives rainfall throughout the year in the form of snowfall in, in the winters and in the form of little rain in the summers. So this is how we are summing up with the rainfall distribution of Asia. I hope you understood what we have discussed and we will meet you next time with the elaborated distribution of climatic zones of Asia.